Hey guys, this is John. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on K and F concept tripods, or I call them for short, KF concept. I've been using these tripods since I first started doing photography, which means I started using these tripods when I had no clue at all what ISO aperture, shutter speed, any of those things did or meant or what value they brought to your images um, to make your story be told or just to capture better stuff. I simply bought a tripod because I was starting with automotive photography and I wanted to do long exposure images. I didn't know extending the tripod to its full length might give you a little bit of, uh, might give you a little bit of movement that you should probably use a shutter release. I didn't know that you could use a timer on your camera to make better photos, but my images turned out okay for not knowing what I was doing. So guys, I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers. Please subscribe to this channel. It helps me get there so I can make more videos like this and give me a huge thumbs up if photography is your main gig. So one thing I've learned with these, uh, with this brand in particular, or any of these, that have these little sliding legs is you can get these things to come out really fast, which if you're in a time crunch and you've got a whole bunch of shoots, you need to get in and out of there make the photos look good, good enough. But what I've learned with this tripod is even though this is super easy to use, it can be really deceiving on if you got it tight enough. I actually had the lens that's on this camera hit the ground. I had to send it back to Sigma and there's only 300 bucks to fix. On my uh, Manfrotto tripod, it has these clamps, which gives me complete confidence knowing that it was locked down. Um, which is also available on the KNF or KF concept tripod. Um, but this is used for my Matterport camera, so I always want to make sure that thing's tight. I don't have time for that to fall. I can't buy a second one. Those things are way too much money. So you got to be definitely careful with making sure these things are in the right position and in a good spot. Do happen to buy one of the non-professional series. The professional series tripod ball mount is super easy to use and you can get your vertical lines on there almost perfectly. It's really easy to swap out if you happen to need to buy it later or you didn't have it in stock. It's gonna go on there relatively fast if I ever get it on. Um, and just like that, now I've got this converted pretty much over to the Professional Series, which just works a lot better, has a lot bigger twist tab right here to tighten everything up versus this smaller one, which is just a little difficult to use and a little more fluid. Um, bo both of these mounts do have the bubble level. Um, this is my professional series one, which I've had for a long time. This one's relatively new, so it's still a little bit green. It may or may not come up on camera, but on the professional series right here, I prefer this tab, this little twist tab to tighten everything down. It feels stronger on the top of here and when I've got a camera on there. This little twist tab is good enough, but it's definitely a lot smoother um, and a little more flimsy when you're using it. So I definitely recommend going with the professional head series after the fact or right from the beginning versus this one. So one really big game changer since I first started using these tripods to now, buying at least once a year, is the uh, feet on the bottom, the original ones. These would just slide on and eventually would fall off on the newest series right here. There's screw on, which makes a big difference when you're using this every single day and you've got uneven surface. Lena say these are still my favorite tripods to use. Something that I use literally every day for the most part for getting 45 degree angles, for getting real estate images, for getting anything top down. So gear is definitely important and for the price, this is definitely the best tripod that I have bought. There's a ton of different options out there for you, but this is definitely one that works and fits my needs and can be used and is a product that over time they have continually made better and not gouge the prices on there. You're still gonna get a carbon fiber or an aluminum professional tripod for under 200 bucks. My opinion, there's not a game changer amount in weight from the aluminum series over to the carbon fiber series. One little pro tip about buying these tripods 
is you can get them on eBay or Amazon, or you can get it directly from their website. I saved $12 by getting it directly from their website, but it was shipped internationally. And that took about three weeks. So if you're okay with the waiting, you're gonna save a little bit of money or you can get it from the bigger companies, get it a little bit faster and pay a little bit more. I bought my first two on eBay and Am I think Amazon. So if you guys found this video to be useful for your photography journey, give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to this channel again. Until next time, peace. I hope to God this thing's still recording. I don't have, if you have,